everybody, it's Amy, and I wanted to share with you tonight um, my tips and pointers for working with this tool. It's the We Are Memory Keepers Label Maker. It is an adorable, adorable little label maker. I love the aqua, and there's a pink option as well. And these are just starting to hit the stores, Hobby Lobby, and I got mine off the of HSN. But the problem is that they are super, super glitchy to use and very temperamental. So um, I have come up with some tips to try to get the best result you can from this label maker. Um, so here's a couple of labels that I typed. I have cookies and I have hello. And I thought that these came out really good. I was really happy with the results. I um, Just be warned, I wasted a lot of tape learning how to work this machine. And um, it's still glitchy and temperamental, so you know if you want something that's really ease of use, this this isn't it. Um, you really do have to have everything perfect to get a good, you know, a decent label. So here are my tips for working with this label maker. First of all, when you load your tape, it's important that your tape, um, you know, you you have to feed it through the guides there. If you can see that, there's guides to feed your tape through. It's really important that your tape sit back and not be real close to the edge of the label maker because if your tapes like it's here if we're up here closer to the edge it's not going to feed great so that's my tip number one make sure your tapes you know proper sufficiently from the edge um, the next thing you do is you know when you load your tape through there through the guides it feeds up through here and there's nothing remarkable here um, you know just once you get it through the guides you feed your tape through the bottom or, you know, there's like the bottom portion of the character wheel and the top portion of the character wheel. You feed your tape through the middle of those and you close your lid. And then um, your tape comes out through here. And you just want to make sure that you have like not too much tape, that you're wasting tape, not too, and not too little tape. So, um, you know, that um, that's for the loading. And then when you're choosing your characters, you want to make sure you've really chosen your character. So I'm going to do the word Santa, and I, you know, just make sure I've chosen my character. I just slightly tweak it once I've chosen the letter to make sure that it's settled in there. And this is super duper important to get a good feed. You need to make sure that you click, when you're embossing, you click strongly from the top of the clicking handle. If you're just feeding tape, you click lightly from the bottom. So I'm embossing, so I'm going to give this a good click right and you can even like move your tape a little if you want to make sure that it's fed through properly you can just kind of give it a little pull and then we're going to do our next letter which is the A again I'm just making sure the A is chosen and I'm clicking from that top strongly right and then I need to do the and then you can like kind of even just like I said just don't pull it strongly just make sure it's feeding and then I'm going to do the N Okay, and then I'm going to give it another, again, I'm up clicking from the top, strong click from the top to make sure it's feeding, and then I'm going to do the T, strong click from the top, and we're going to do, and then I also make sure it fed through, and then we're going to do the A again. Make sure that A is chosen, strong from the top. Okay, so now... I've typed my word, right, and now I need, it's like kind of just stuck in there, so you got to feed your tape through and then cut it, which the machine will do. So to feed the tape, uh, if you remember what I said, you just lightly click from the bottom and that feeds it, right? And then to cut your tape loose, you pull down this um, lever here, right, you give it a good pull down and you push it back up and that cuts your tape it not only cuts your tape it gives it a little edge here that so when you go to um, you know stick your label down you got a little bit of a start it cuts a little bit of an indentation here and there you go those are my it's a really gorgeous label but like I said <laughs> it's temperamental um, it is possible be prepared to waste a lot of tape um, I don't know, like again, I wouldn't use it for everyday labeling probably, but for very special labeling, scrapbooking labeling, you know, travel journal labeling, um, you know, where you really want an impact, you can make a great cute little label using this tool. 
with patience, perseverance, and um, determination like I had. So good luck using your label maker and um, have a hap and wishing you much happiness with your label maker if you choose to keep it. Thanks for watching. Bye. Hi everybody, it's Amy. I'm back. I um, wanted to share with you, I thought I was doing a video with the tips. I would share with you how I'm storing my We Are Memory Keepers label maker. I had picked up these cute little train cases at Michael's uh, a couple months ago. And um, I'm storing my label maker in there. Um, I'd also picked up a gold one where I store the video camera that I'm recording with. And yeah, they're, they're kind of perfect. Um, I have my label maker in there. And um, I call it my temperamental mint beauty. And then I have um, my instructions for my label maker in the pocket. And I have my character wheel stored in here as well. Um, this is the lowercase character wheel in numbers. And I have my extra roll of tape. And of course I'll put, um, you know, I do absolutely have room in here for additional rolls of tape um, to store everything all together. But yeah, I thought that that was a really good um, solution, um, really perfect size and good solution for storing my label maker. So thanks again for watching, everybody. Bye. I'm back again. I keep forgetting stuff. So here we go. These are the little tapes that I purchased to go with. I thought I might as well show you. I got the thin um, neutrals. It's cream, this cute wood grain and black. And here it is in the, um, this is the, um, I guess it's called the 3 8 and then this is the three fourths and the same colors the the creamy white that gorgeous wood grain and the black and then um here is the other colors i purchased it's a bright green um the teal and a blue and then again um green teal and blue and i purchased these off of hsn at the same time i purchased my label maker i need to purchase the i think they have metallics and the pinks, and I didn't get those yet. I just was uh, wanted to start out with these and see if I liked it before I went hog wild and bought every single color of tape. And like I said, it's temperamental, but I am going to keep it since I've been able to get it to work. <laughs> so thanks again for hanging in there through the, these multiple takes, and have a good night. Bye.